So the question is, is what is an MX record or a mail exchange record? This is a DNS record that shows where your email should be routed on the internet. So a lot of times when we talk about DNS and we talk about registering a domain name, we think about websites. So we know we can go to godaddy.com, we can buy a domain name from godaddy.com, but then we can host the domain somewhere else. Maybe you host it on an AWS server, maybe you host it on a server in your house, but the main point is is you can purchase your domain name from one company and then route uh, where your uh, website traffic goes uh, using the DNS configuration. The same is true with email addresses. Now, most people, if you have an at gmail.com email address or an at, uh, at hotmail.com email address, the MX record doesn't come up. But if you purchase your own domain name, such as failnormal.com or geekfieldnotes.com or elithecomputerguy.com, what you can do is you can actually purchase email services from another company or even set up your own email server. But in order for that to work, the internet needs to know how to be able to route your email, and that's where the MX record comes in. So basically what the MX record is, is it's simply the IP address of where your email server resides. Now, when you input the MX record into GoDaddy or HostGator or whoever you use, uh, you'll see that there's an option for numerous MX records. Unlike for a website where you just put in one IP address, you can have five or 10 or 20 different MX records. What that's for is so that you can have backup mail servers in case one mail server fails. So when an email is sent to you, basically what happens is the email is sent, the MX record is written, uh, is read, it sees where the IP address it's supposed to go to is, and then the email tries to get routed to that IP address. Now, if you don't have any other backup email servers, if that one email server is down or simply unreasonable for some reason, the email will get bounced back to the sender. Now, obviously, there can be a lot of reasons why uh, one particular server may not be reachable at any point in time. And so the idea is you have multiple servers at multiple different IP addresses so that if the email isn't able to get to the first mail server, it goes to the second mail server, goes to the third mail server, goes to the fourth mail server, so on and so forth, uh, for however many email servers you have set up. So I do believe if you use something like Google Apps and you use your own domain name, I think they give you five or six email servers. So you go into your MX record, uh, you would add MX records, you would add a priority. So it's important to understand as far as priorities go, lower is higher priority. So zero, zero is the highest priority. So if you set an MX record and set it to priority zero, that will be the first email server that the mail tries to get routed to. So past that, you can put in whatever numbers you want. So you could do 0, 10, 20, 30, 50, or you do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Basically, just understand that priority goes in reverse order. 0 is the highest, and then it goes down from there. Then from there, you put in the actual uh, the, the server for your email server. And so you can either plug in an IP address, or you can actually plug in a domain name. So again, with Google Apps, they'll give you like a googlemx.com uh, address to go to, and then that's how the email gets routed. So that's basically all there is uh, to MX records for what most people need to know. And so all an MX record is, is th it's the DNS setting for your email. So if you're trying to host your own email server, or if you're purchasing an email service from a company, again, such as Google, uh, for Google Apps, or maybe Outlook.com, something like that, you can have your domain name hosted with the registrar, GoDaddy, or HostGator, point the MX records to the other servers, and that way you get to have your own email addresses uh, being hosted in whatever fashion that you feel appropriate. So that's why an MX record is, and that's why it matters.